Hi friends! So I just wanted to go over um, a few things that you might want to consider shortly after your baby is born and that is uh, aligning all of their travel documents. Sorry, she's awake and I'm on the rocking chair so hopefully you guys don't get sick from me rocking back and forth. So basically, after your baby's born, at the hospital, your hospital will give you like a certificate of live birth or a document that looks like or what you might assume is a birth certificate however that is not correct that document is basically just for your records for in our case ours was one that had her footprints on it and like her name our names and her date and time of birth but that's not a birth certificate for the birth certificate you have to order one um, through the state slash county and I recommend that you do it like a few days after or like a week after your baby's born just so like everything's processed and in the system but your hospital will in the birth paperwork ask you if you want a social security number or if you want to apply for it yourself in our case we just said yes so they did it for us and then like a few weeks later we received it in the mail um so yeah that's how you do the birth certificate so social security you can just check a box and then on the hospital paperwork and then you'll get it birth certificate you have to request for it separately and you need the birth certificate for like applying for a passport or for nexus um when applying for a passport you can download the form online and then fill it out and print it out have that ready and then for the infant picture that was a bit challenging but we had like a white muslin or like a white uh, sheet put her on it and took her picture and then just went and went on like walgreens.com or some other websites where you can print the picture on a four by six car uh photo paper instead of like going in and printing it on and them uh charging you like 15 dollars to have an actual passport photo printed so yeah that's one hack so you can save money and it's like printing on a two by four or sorry on a four by six gives you two passport pictures and you'll need one for the application and that costs about 34 cents um sorry <laughs> and then so that's how you do the baby's passport picture you want to make sure i mean make sure to check the guidelines but in summary, you want to make sure they have a neutral expression, they're looking straight forward at the camera, or, you know, since it's an infant, they can actually have their eyes closed as long as their head is straight, um, and have a neutral expression. Make sure it's not pixelated or anything like that, and don't Photoshop it at all, like even the background, I guess. Some people Photoshop it, but it's better if you don't because it could get rejected that way. And then in our case, we went, oh, our friend, sorry, our friend who have, has a baby that's like about a month older than she is, they actually went in and scheduled, they went to schedule a passport interview like a month out based on availability. In our case, we just went in yesterday for a walk-in because uh, it was really, it was much quicker. Um, basically there was like one or two families in front of us and then after that you just do the paperwork you write your check and then they ask to see the baby to confirm that that is the baby that's applying for the application and then you're all good to go um, we didn't pay for expedited so normal turnaround time right now is four months for a passport but if you pay for expedited then it's three months and the difference is for normal uh for regular turnaround it's 80 bucks for expedited it's 140 and then since we did the walk-in there was an 35 dollar um like application or service fee a service fee i guess you'd call it and then yeah so we finished that and i actually have like a tip or hack if you um, are going somewhere like in this case for an interview and they have to see the baby's face or if you're going out to meet friends and family and you want them to see the baby but not touch the baby because COVID and all 
Um, I'll have a picture as a thumbnail because I don't have the energy or time to edit. But what we did was for her car seat, we actually ordered a universal car seat rain cover off Amazon. I will link that below. Um, we ordered a universal one because it's cheaper. And basically the car seat cover, rain cover, is what you would use outside if you're going for a walk on like a rainy day or something. But in this case, we used it indoors um, as kind of like a an infant face shield. And she can breathe through it because the sides have holes and the front has two zippers on either end. So you can also like unzip part of it, which is what we did. And then so we were uh, pushing her around in the car seat or in this car seat stroller like that, had it. And then the person giving the interview was like, I like that. I like how you use it as a face shield. I was like, exactly. Um, but yeah, and then when they asked to see the baby, they're behind a plexiglass screen or like a glass uh, screen anyway. And you just unzip briefly and then flip it up, show them the baby and then just zip it back. And then there you go. I think that's also a good way to expose your baby to his, like sunlight <laughs> if you're walking outside. Obviously, make sure it's like shaded and not super bright for them, but that way they're not covered with like a cloth or a muslin car seat cover and then you have to keep flipping it over to like peek in to see if they're awake or if they're if they need anything. This way it's open and you can see your baby at all times. Um okay, so we did social security birth certificate and passport. The last thing we applied for for her is a Nexus um, card and what that is for Washington and I think like around um, the lower south states, I think to Mexico also, but for us it's for Canada, to Canada. Um, what a Nexus card is, is a card or like identification that allows you to use the express lane when going to and from um, different countries by car I believe but in our case we just use it to go on the fast lane to Canada because we used to go to Canada once a month and for the Nexus everybody in the car has to have a Nexus card in order for you to be uh, permitted to use the line if not you can get called out or you can be fined and even for an infant you have to use they have to have an um, a card but in this case for infants it's free and what you do is you just apply online and then you get conditionally approved and then from there you schedule an interview right now due to border restrictions um, no interviews are available so we have to wait on that I think it'll be updated in the next couple of weeks or so so we'll check back in and then schedule her interview but apparently interviews will be held in person and online now which is good what happens at the interview is when it was in person um, we would have to drive to the location and then you're standing in front of a desk and you're talking to like an American officer they're gonna ask you interview questions like why are why do you want this why do you plan on traveling um, where do you plan on traveling and then when they're satisfied then you just like take a few steps to the right or left and then you talk to the Canadian officer and they ask you the the same questions as well and then once that's approved then you're approved for your nexus card and the nexus card is good also because when you're going up north you can just hold it out for the scanners and they can get your information before you even drive up to the window to talk to the border crossing officer um, so that's the last document that we're waiting on for her i believe um, but yeah if you guys have any questions regarding uh, the process of applying for those or anything, please let us know. Corden will also help answer questions. He's just taking a nap right now because we're alternating. Um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye!